also <laughs> kind of going off what Sky was saying, where there's like a lot of whitewashing. I think she's also like her main point is like to also recognize uh, cultures or races that are maybe like unappreciated when it comes to like cooking or like in that field of work, because like like they said in the thing, or there's like Italian and then there's like Mexican and stuff like that. But like there's like the small minorities that like cook and stuff like that that, that aren't really like shown to like public not shown but like weren't really like known to public and it's kind of like um i think she's talking about the impact that she's also making not only being a woman but like you know african-american and like bringing the soulful food into like her restaurant and giving people a taste of something different kind of like what i was saying like it's like an impact on a smaller town and acute awareness um reckoning with complex racial economic and cultural history so it kind of like gives a um I lost my train of thought. It kind of just gives like, I guess like a uh, racial background that also proves that like, not just certain like restaurants have to be certain things. It could be like a mixture or a variety. And everyone can have like their own taste. Yeah. I really liked what you were saying and I kind of wanted to just like add on to it. You were talking about how she was kind of like voicing like her racial background and like her history and her culture into her food. But I feel like it was it was um, it was cool that she made it really special by also incorporating her own like, personal life into it. Like she went to France to study, and she kind of combined like soul food and um, French food, kind of into a lot of her dishes and integrated them. And I feel like the fact that she used a segregated um, bus station as like a place for her to integrate those kind of cultures, it just shows that like no matter what, there is progress and there is going to be like. A hopeful ending at the road you know and it's like she couldn't figure out what she wanted to do and then she figured it out and like she's kind of blossoming from it she took something that was segregated and made something beautiful out of it so yeah um on the last page it goes into talking about um like her partnership with <coughs> morisano i think so you say it um and like one of the last lines is because when you start to unpack our story you have to talk about race and I feel like especially in today's society there's a lot of stigma and there's a lot of bad stuff that has to do with race and in this sense it's like it's a beautiful thing that like they were able to come together to people that were very different from completely different backgrounds and like put that aside to like make something beautiful and like the admiration going back to like what I was saying about admiration I think that's some that's a really admirable thing because a lot of people can't do that they can't look past something so superficial and stereotypical that like whites and blacks can't do something together and like merging that together and calling the restaurant the gray is like something that's very I think Iconic. yeah like something that will go down in history for sure yeah I'm what? Yeah, I, I, I didn't think of.